Hey everybody, it's Texas Stroke here, Lions' performance shop, LongStarMotorPars.com. Gonna come in and uh, be taking a look at some stuff I picked up recently. Kinda wanna get it showcased so we can get out in the wild and we can start using it. And this item right here, there's actually a couple of items, we'll cover those in other videos, but uh, this has something very special about it. And that's that it was purchased direct from Channel Lock. And you're like, direct from Channel Lock, what are you talking about? You know, did you get it off the jungle site or, you know, pick it up at Home Depot? What do you, what do you mean direct? It was just drop ship. Now, this Channel Lock now has a shop. Like, you can go there. You can't just, you know, look at the products like you used to be able to. You can actually buy direct from them. And uh, that is what I did. It was ordered February 26th. We got it uh, March 4th. Again, anything northeast for me kind of gets drugged down a bit but um, this is something very exciting if you recall what we've probably last showcased with channel lock if i'm not mistaken would be their brand new 100 percent usa made screwdrivers of course these are going to be the same thing you see from right they're going to be the same thing you see from mayhew subtly different uh, obviously the color is the big thing. There are other nuances between them despite all sharing the same OEM. But just kind of recap it, there's Channel Lock, there's an American flag made in the USA, and of course your part number. Very nice blades. Have we used this? Absolutely not. Uh, it was brought in for testing. So, same thing over here with the stubby. Again, just pretty nice little design. Again, it's kind of a trilobe throwback, which if you think of your Matco drivers, or if you have them from VIT, which would be the better way to do that, <laughs> that might be something that you would enjoy here. This is just kind of a hard handle iteration. So uh, if you have a trilobe, if you're a trilobe fan and they're soft grip, or you know, there's certain chemicals that you get on them that you find are detrimental to the finish, or tear them up, or just break them down over time, and you think, man, I wish I had a hard handle. Well, there you go. But the star of the show right here is part number DS-2H. And uh, some of you can probably deduce what that is without further explanation if you just stop and think about the DS. <laughs> and uh, There is a couple of things that I like about these. One of them is very, very unique. So, uh, let's go ahead here and we'll just kind of cover what Channel Lock seems to think is important. So this is a demolition screwdriver set, if you think like, oh, that was the DS. Yes, that was the DS. Uh, the set is going to include only two drivers. You're going to get a six inch number two Phillips, which is cool because your standard driver over here is a four. They do offer that in a six inch, but if you go this route, you've got two unique drivers, which is kind of a perk. And then in slotted, you've got a similarly uh, equipped six inch iteration of a quarter drive. Now, right here, you can see it saying that there's a hex drive torque. It's a reinforced three sided high performance handle. Uh, again, that's there's quite a bit of information on those out there. Vacuum heat treated U.S. steel blades. Again, the S2 tool steel, 100% U.S. sourced, U.S. machined, U.S. finished, the whole nine yards. Uh, this was again made uh, by Mayhew. Again, sold through Channel Ox, just simple uh, rebranding type of a thing. And if we come around to the back side, I'm trying to think if I can read this. <laughs> so, lifetime warranty. Uh, let's see here. Reinforced three-sided hypo handle. Heat stabilized and modified to provide excellent one, two, three abrasion resistance, impact resistance, and chemical tolerance. You think impact resistance? I'm not going to bang on this handle. You know, that's what I did and ruined all my acetate drivers. Well, we'll come back to that. <laughs> so, uh, right here, precision machine tips. Engage fasteners with a secure fit. Again, obviously with a demo set, it depends what you're doing. If you bought this for like house renos, you literally might be punching holes in the wall, right? Maybe from time to time you're going to turn screws with it. Maybe you've got you know crank handle Klein. Maybe you've got something else. Maybe it's your all-in-one. You're going to blow holes through drywall and then turn screws with it. Uh, it could go any direction. This could also just be something that you pick up, not to tear holes in walls, but to you know have a demolition screwdriver something that you can bang on uh, something that you can put up against a rusty fastener hit with the back of a hammer and break it free and then turn it loose type of a thing so again it's just up to you and again some of you might do all of those things 
Uh, right there, we've got rugged S2 US tool steel, which the blades are also vacuum heat treated. Ultimate performance. Uh, channel lock blue, solid grip, reduces fatigue and maximizes torque. Again, some of you are big fans of the Texton, Tecton explanations, uh, similar to that. 100% made in the USA, everything. Handle, shaft, processing, packaging, you name it, it is 100% USA made. That is a big selling point. And again, the price on these, $26.89, that comes out to roughly, what, like $13.44 and a half? per driver which is not bad considering these are six inch american made striking cap demo drivers some of you are like whoa, whoa I, th I think you skipped something and indeed i did and it was intentional so that would be 0.4 steel cap with integrated hex drive torque feature for additional control and you think like okay it's a striking cap cool let's go to town <laughs> well we will do just that and uh, i think what i need to do Let's cut this open uh, off camera so you don't have to sit through it. Can we tear it out? We might. Yeah. Not sure that we did. It. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Saved you the trouble. My apologies. So, uh, now there won't be that awkward pause when I do this. Obviously, we've got six inch blades. Uh, obviously, these are black. They're not quite the same color, I don't think. You'll also notice where this is a round should note the color contrast there sort of four inch standard demo down below gonna be the same tip fit and finish but where this is a cylindrical shaft this one is square some of you are like oh hey if that's a demo man they missed the mark i so wish i know it's a square shank but i wish they would have incorporated you know a hex fastener here like if i could put like a 7 16 wrench or something on the end of this just to break stuff free Others of you are saying like, hey, you know, get an adjustable wrench, get a 12 point and slide it over, catch on the stock and turn it and go to town that way, which you could totally do. If you're thinking like, why would Channel Lock have done that? So let, let's take a look at the striking cab. It looks pretty beefy, right? It's got the nice sometimes, I'm kind of picky with striking caps. <laughs> I don't know if other people share my sentiments, but there's so many places <clears throat> I'll just grab one of these broken bits over here. See how that like doesn't stand up and it's recessed, meaning that, yeah, you're going to strike that with a solid steady hit, but if you're ever off any or erratically swinging, you're going to tear up the end of your driver. Not really desirable. Uh, Ghidor, funky little shape there, right? But similar concept, it's domed a little bit more, but again, uh, even though that should crest and catch the blows from the hammer, we all see people walk around with busted bloody thumbnails, right? <laughs> with band-aids on and scream when they hit nails. And it's because they hit themselves because they don't swing squarely with a hammer, right? Uh, even the Vera chisel drivers, which my beat up ones are at work, but uh, same concept. Now, some, some striking caps are inherently a little bit better of a design, in my opinion. The closest one I have to me is, of course, from Viha. And you'll see, like, oh, hey, he's right. You know, you could totally suck with a hammer, and you're going to be way less likely. <laughs> You'd have to do some pretty stupid stuff, right, to tear this handle up. Uh, and it's because this is significantly more voluminous, right? There's just tons more surface area to contact with said hammer. So you're like, yeah, 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 look, that does look really nice. And so why don't you show it to us? Well, because I've been dragging it out for a reason. And uh, let's see here, that reason, what should we start with? Let's grab this. You're thinking like, has that, right? what does that have to do with a 100% American made demolition screwdriver from Channel Lock? <laughs> You've derailed the video, buddy. Not quite. I'm, I'm going to come in here. And I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll throw down something that you haven't seen from Vera in a while. It is their 917 SPHS. You're thinking like 917. I don't know that part number, you moron. Just tell me what it is. You're like, okay, it's a chisel driver. We don't care. That's not even six inches, you say. Well, and you're like, wait, is it a chisel driver? And of course it is. It's kind of that same design. But this one is unlike this one. Okay. And you're thinking like, well, why? You know, it just looks better. It's been kept in a drawer or something and not handled as much. Yeah, this is totally just like this one. It's for testing, right? But uh, check this out. 
You think, okay, now you're going in and machining, you know, boreholes, you know, and square recesses of all things. Why not just drill it, you know, and thread it and put it on something for an antenna? What What is the point of this? Well, that's what this ties in with, right? Little Hazette here. You think, oh, no, you didn't. You just, Talk about a bit driver, right? You know, you, you ever wanted a handle to crank on with your bit driver? Here you go. And you're thinking like, okay, you've staged a really stupid video. No, this is a real thing from Vera. Granted, the Vera, in addition to having the hex profile for your shaft, it's got the hex bolster, which I really wish Channel Lock would have done uh, just for ease of use by the end user. But that is a quarter square drive. And you're thinking like, well, oh, I didn't know that existed. OG viewers of the channel will know. <laughs> and, uh, there are so many great tools that aren't exactly commonplace. that just kind of get swept under the rug or forgotten about. Some of you may have seen that, you know, years ago. That thing dates back to like 2018, 19, somewhere in there, probably. Some of you are like, I remember that. I was going to buy one of those and I forgot all about it. I got to go get one now. Well, now you've got options. Uh, that Vera, probably not terribly priced. You can source it from KC Tool, but check this out. This is why I wouldn't show you what we've got. This is a similar concept to the Vera. It's a square drive recess. Again, I so, so wish the hex bolster was present there that would have just been the bee's knee for me minor nitpick because again you can grab that with pliers or crescent wrench or a box and whatever but right here this sets this apart i bet an awful lot of you have demo drivers from harbor freight home depot lowe's local supplier ace hardware maybe napa all right maybe o'reilly's had some when you needed them some of you might have really good, like the chisel driver. Some of you might have stuff from v -Hi. You've probably got striking cap screwdrivers if you're watching this video. There's a very real possibility you do not have a striking cap. This is not just some feature, you know, to embed the quarter square drive. This is a legit striking cap, just like the Vera, but it also includes the quarter square drive. And some of you are like, okay, this this little Hazet, yes, yeah, strong as it may be, it's disproportionately small for turning that, right? Like, let's be realistic. You're going to use that for standard screw. This would be just something completely crusted over and nasty. You need to do better. Well, let's come in and do this, okay? Got the Carlisle. This is significantly longer than the Hazet. Hopefully you can get a handle of that there. Now, this is also the best one with the blue push button, but we tuck that in and now you've got way more leverage here. I think this is around seven to eight inches if I remember correctly. Also, you've got the ability to do this. Also, you can take the benefit of a roto, all right, and really run something in or something out. But the main thing is just get more leverage here, right? Obviously, another hidden gem, which not everyone has, but just a quarter drive breaker bar. I'm sure some of you are thinking like, I'm putting that on an impact, you know, I don't know what this guy's doing. <laughs> sure, that's probably not something they would officially recommend, but uh, hey, if it fits, it sends, right? <laughs> so keep that in mind. You could go that route. Uh, I brought the Quinn over just to see if it kicks out to you. That's... These are actually pretty nice ratchets, but they have one huge flaw aside from the anvil play all over the place. It's the in and out. They basically pop sockets off. Uh, not to the point that they dislodge or anything, just that it's not, con yeah, it's, you know the drill, <laughs> right? So, oddly enough, I think this might be something that it properly mates with. Hmm. Uh, the other thing about the Quinn, it is a significantly longer handle, like in terms of just a standard quarter drive, that is a selling point of the Quinn. Um, not to say that it's fantastic and should replace either one of those, I'm just saying it standard, <laughs> non-flex head, non-locking, not a roto, just a standard fixed head ratchet. This has decent length, so keep that in mind, it might pair well with something like this. And uh, the real winner though for me, Come in here. Uh, I took the black and yellow ones to work and they're filthy. 
but uh, right here, putting a T-handle on the end of this. Not only, and keep in mind, you can kind of, depending on the length of what you've got, but if you come in here, like, you get some really good torque with T-handles. I'm a T-handle person. I'm also a roto person. Some people aren't, some people are. If you are, you know, and uh, just think, we're basically, let's say that we've got, I'm trying to think, maybe, I kind of wish they had this in a, number three Phillips, that would just make more sense. But let's just say that we've got a trim screw that's rusted through to the body and you're trying to preserve the rock or you're trying to salvage, you know, some trim or something. You come in with this and you don't want to wail on it too much. You run the risk of jumping out of the screw and, you know, banging through your trim. So what you would do, we would come in and the leverage that I can exert with this is way more than I can exert like this. Okay, there's just no option for me to get more torque out of this handle than I can maxed out in that position. The mechanics of that versus the mechanics of the T-handle paired with this, pretty tough to beat. <laughs> All right. Now, obviously your limitations with this set is once again just going to be the drive sizes. Uh, quarter slotted, which again, that'll do quite a bit. And then your number two Phillips, which again is the preferential one, but uh, some of you may wish to expand out or see, possibly shoot emails and say, hey, you gotta make this drive type, or you know, I'm going through deck screws over here like crazy, make that thing, uh, you know, in a T25 and I'll buy it. And you're probably thinking like, oh, I'm gonna run that out and you know, save my expensive bits or something. Who knows? Whatever your logic is, it's something to think about. But I gotta say, like, these are pretty nice. Let's go handle to handle here. Again, this is our four inch, this is the six inch demo driver. Easy to tell the difference, of course, by black versus uh, the more natural steel coloring. And you've got the exact same handle profile. So again, your 100 millimeter versus 150, or in this case, old school USA, four versus six. It's all gonna be here. And then just subtly, again, picture this being just machine flat and this in here. Obviously, that would be a tame through design. Should be, anyway. Case in point, PB Swiss there. Not getting anything here. Maybe it could. Two things could happen. The tang could run all the way through like I think it should. A <laughs> good demo driver. Uh, or striking cap in general. Or it might be a deal, the handle is literally just absorbing it because Mayhew has built in the impact resistance, which again, I told you we'd come back to that point. That's why if you were thinking like, hey, I'm not gonna wail on this, it's probably gonna shatter and break, it's plastic, or I'm gonna mushroom it, of course you'll mushroom it over time. But it is advertised as impact resistant. So there is a chance maybe this isn't tang through. It wasn't mentioned in the flyer or in my previous research, so I can't say one way or another. And I also can't, obviously, you know, there, but this could be one of two things. They could have just omitted that because of the handle and the way that they feel that they've mated this and the shaft. It could run all the way up to this. And it's just simply a situation where the material on the handle is so thick and robust, we're not able to get a magnetic pull. I'm not sure, I can't really speak on it. <laughs> That's that. Uh, usually we can come in and we could tell. Um, it just kind of depends, right? Again, a lot of it has to do with the material, the thickness of the handle, lots of variables at play there. But uh, it is what it is, so we'll just end it on that note. But I gotta say, these do feel good in hand, having the extra heft, which again, this adds a good bit of weight, that striking cap end. Uh, case in point, you can see it kind of pendle them down. Whereas when I have this, it's just coming down maybe 15 degrees. This one with the same grip, yeah, uh, it's almost a full on 90, right? So something about the extra weight, I do find nice. Uh, it almost seems that the Phillips is heavier I'm not going to go to the trouble of scaling them. We could, if you want to see that, by all means, let me know. But yeah, I got to tell you, again, thinking of this set as $26.89, $27, just call it that, $13.50 a pop. This is a pretty sweet little pickup, in part, 
Number one, I think they would be worth the $1,350 with the 6-inch, with the square shaft, and with a striking cap. But what really makes these two drivers unique is the square drive. That's just something you don't see often, something a lot of you probably never even think about, or maybe you have thought about it and be like, man, that would be really handy. <laughs> and, uh, boom, there you go. So if this is something you're interested in, if it's something that you want to try out, you got Vera, you got Channel Lock two-piece set. Uh, go to town, have some fun, see what you think of it. In the event that you actually have this set already, what do you think of it? How has it performed? What are you doing with it? Uh, again, if you're using this, you know, like <laughs> working in a shipyard uh, versus a honey-do list for your wife, your you know opinions and experiences will probably vary, right? Uh, for everyone else, just... The, even the kind of people that fall into the better to have it and not need it, <laughs> need it and not have it, there you go. Again, not something you would probably use all the time. Some of you might get addicted to it and use this literally all the time. Uh, but for everybody else, it's just kind of a nice option to have. Again, especially uh, with a T-handle or a longer breaker bar, a uh, longer ratchet handle. Uh, because again, the torque that I can generate in this position... <laughs> going like that is way more than I can generate in this position going like this, right? It's just simple physics. We've got the leverage factor of a 7-inch ratchet sticking out the back end of the driver, and it's coupled quite securely. So beautiful little setup, and I think a fantastic price. So uh, again, I think they might have looked slightly better with that style of shaft. Now, this is a pretty light blue to have the black, but I'm not going to complain because, as you might have guessed, I kind of like blue and black now. Interesting, while we have it here, the Quinn is kind of a dark blue. There's a color comparison for those of you who care. Obviously, the Mopar Omega M down there. Carlisle blue, heck, we even have that here. Again, radically different, a bit darker, lighter, I think, than the Quinn. And then, really, Hazette blue, which is kind of a teal to me. Much, much closer to the channel log colors. <laughs> so... Yeah, I am, uh, I'm excited about these. Again, this was the only driver I had like that. I feel like I might have a... I think we may have another one. Don't hold me to it. What would really be neat is if you could get this into like a bit holder, but that probably defeats the purpose. You'd probably get a weak point somewhere along the line. It would be cool and a nice novelty, though. But, uh, yeah, if you have experience with these, let me know. If you're someone that you don't have any experience with these channel locks, but you've run that Vera, again, with a square drive recess for years, tell me, how has it done for you? What are you doing with it? How has it held up? Do you want to just replace it when it wears out, if it does wear out? Or do you want to upgrade to the channel lock, get a longer shaft length, uh, get the extra driver, if you will? Keep in mind... Uh, Vera certainly doesn't just make that in Phillips 2. You can get a whole comprehensive set there. I uh, should also mention, in terms of channel lock, we have these code blue drivers. This gets confusing because, again, channel lock code blue on pliers, right? This is American made, and it's just that's their comfort grip. It's this color scheme, right? Uh, I'm not sure what their logic was there, but uh, it is what it is. Not terrible, but you know, it could have been better. Uh, and then this, you think, okay, these are their American-made striking cap drivers. Cool. No. Code Blue is also like their budget value line that's of imported, globally sourced stuff. I, I know. Like, why can't one be, like, super blue and one code blue? I don't know. I, I'm not tied in with the marketing there. Uh, but these we kind of picked up. Uh, actually, initially, I thought they'd be, like, a nice screwdriver set for me, and they have been. But, I mean, I'm saying, like... They go back a ways, kind of, you know, like probably before 90 plus of our KC tool hauls. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So these were kind of going to be like, I thought these were really unique and they still are, honestly, like the ergonomics of them. You don't really see this design many places. Uh, the design, they were on a cover of a Summit Tools catalog is kind of where I was like, man, those are like cool. I thought about it for a long time and finally I think they were like slightly off and I was like cool and I had Summit bucks. <laughs> and we bought them. Uh, and they've been with me ever since. Uh, they have been used, I think honestly this one has been used the most. And aside from the laser etching kind of coming off, and then of course there's 
kind of funky wear and tear as they've like rubbed up against stuff. You know, they're kind of jagged and rough a little bit. Uh, and then same thing, I think this one, you can't really tell that bad. These look, these are both pretty dirty uh, in terms of the red. The blue's not that bad. It's a hard plastic. Uh, but the red is not near as vibrant as it's supposed to be because it's just dirty. But uh, yeah, we have had Shanalock striking caps. And again, I think these two are probably the most used for me. Uh, they also came with magnetic tips, whether you like that or hate it. Um, we've used them, again, quite a bit. Because again, you got to think, like, they're on a little cart over there. Not like the U.S. General, but like a little cart where I put parts. <laughs> you know, like if I'm changing spark plugs. Or if it's like, hey, you know, I got to put a water pump on. I put the pump on the table and I've just got those there so they've seen a lot of use just by default because they were there with me which is why I put them there uh, but the initial plan like I was thinking like hey, this is gonna be my cool set you know and then I thought now you know this will kind of be like my beater set you know and the clients will be the good ones and you know thousand screwdrivers later here we are but they still actually do get used just entirely because of where they are and they've held up quite nicely which makes me think the Mayhew American made ones should be really good if <laughs> these have held up. So yeah, uh, that's about it, man. But I think the biggest takeaway from this, aside from it being incredibly unique because of the quarter square drive, it's the price point. Price point on that, very reasonable. Uh, I wouldn't object to the $27 for the set if it didn't have the square drive. With the square drive, it's full of wind, and again, I think that's something most people simply aren't going to have, which makes it even better. So, uh, yeah, uh, if you can't find these locally, whether that's like a local hardware store or Home Depot or, you know, wherever you buy your channel lock stuff for your business or something, if they don't have them, go direct to channel lock. Uh, when I bought this stuff, $26.89 was the MSRP. I just stumbled upon it, and they were having a sale on pretty much every screwdriver they had pry bars too and uh, i pulled the trigger and i've got no complaints again direct from channel lock very cool there so i'll have them linked down below do i make a dime off of that nope i sure don't i'm just doing that for your convenience but once again first-hand feedback experiences with these or similar drivers let me know uh, again the coolest thing about those is just that square drive recess which you don't see often it could be very very beneficial to you uh, and if nothing else it's just nice to have in case you need it or you remember you've got it and you can try it out but uh, with that said yeah that is about it uh, i've got something else i'm going to showcase here that ties in nicely with some of this but uh super cool stuff there hope you enjoyed again first-hand feedback experiences thoughts opinions feel free to leave them down below if you enjoyed the video i encourage you to leave a like if you like multiple things I do here, I encourage you to just pull the trigger and subscribe. If you do that, you ring the bell. You jump your charger across the creek while wielding your pair of channel lock demolition screwdrivers. YouTube just might notify you. we got new videos every Wednesday, 9 a.m. Texas time, Saturdays as well. With that said, thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic week. Most importantly, I hope I catch you back here for more action from the shop.